Hello and welcome everyone. It is time for Jim Comics Top Picks for New Comic Book Day this upcoming Wednesday, April 6, 2022. It is Friday, April 1st today. Hope everybody's having a good April Fool's Day. Um, we've got some good books coming again this week. Uh, it's a bit of a lighter week as far as like major books coming out, but we've got a lot of stuff to talk about and get into that and uh, some other stuff as usual uh, I just want to say you're all awesome I say it all the time whether you follow me on Instagram or YouTube or you just pop in to watch a video or whatever hey it's all good we're all comic fans so welcome and we will get into what I'm looking at um, just uh, real quick I guess I haven't seen it yet but um, the new uh, Moon Knight series dropped from what I'm seeing people are, are really liking it I just had uh, I just like that issue 200 cover it's a nice cover so anyways i just uh if you watched it maybe throw a comment down because i haven't seen it yet and i i canceled my disney plus a while back um i might wait for a bit till there's a few more episodes on there before i watch it but uh yeah, anyways looking forward to seeing it sounds like it's good god i talked about miles morales 38 um mentioned this oh, oh geez almost two months ago now that uh, on instagram that 38 uh, looks like it's got, uh, at the time, I didn't know if that was Billy uh, Morales on the cover, but it is. So cover A, I just want to cover this off because um, cover A has got Billy Morales on the cover, which is a good one to get. I'm getting those. The cover B, the Jen Bartel cover, which they did not release the image to, has been released now. You'll see that on the screen. And as suspected, um, it is Billy Morales because Jen Bartel usually does female uh, characters when she draws covers. So kind of figured it was going to be uh, Billy on there and it's a nice looking cover so I pre-ordered those before the image was released because I wanted to make sure I got them uh, I took a gamble on it and glad I did because <laughs> it's a nice looking cover so a um, so I just kind of sorry I'm just going to uh, backtrack just a slight bit here so you got the regular cover a you've got the Jen Bartel cover b both of those are regular price covers with Billy on the cover um, cover c is that scroll there and I don't like that one at all you do have um, a 1 for 10 character design variant, which is a nice looking cover. And because this is going to be ordered, um, you know, heavier than a lot of the Miles Morales titles, there should be quite a few of those 1 for 10s around. So you should be able to get that for a decent price. I wouldn't pay more than, you know, 15 bucks for it kind of thing. So 10, 15 buck range, which is pretty reasonable for, it's a nice looking variant. Uh, then you got the 1 for 25, which has Miles and Spider Smasher. And spoiler alert. <laughs> It's been a, if you've been paying attention, you know this. I mean, Billy is Spider Smasher in this other universe, so technically that's Billy and Miles on the cover together on that one for 25. And then the one for 50, I think that's a scan variant, that's just uh, Spider Smasher, which is not so you pretty much all the covers for this are nice looking covers. A lot of times, as you know, you get one or two that are nice and a whole bunch of crappy ones, but uh, all of these are good. I'm getting the one for 10, I'm getting or sorry, the uh, cover A. The Bartel cover, and I'm going to try and get that one for 10 as well. I'm not chasing the variants, but uh, hey, it looks good. And it'd be interesting to see what happens because does she come back with Miles to to the regular universe, or does she get killed off in that universe because his sister is younger in this universe? I don't know. We'll have to see what happens, but looking forward to that. Um, yeah, I got those pre ordered. Hopefully, you guys all got that pre ordered. I'm sure you did. Uh, I was just looking at this the other day, and for whatever reason, this this facsimile, the price on this has climbed up, I think, in Canadian dollar. I'm, again, everything's in Canadian dollars for me, but it's like around the $30, $25, $30 range, which is, I'm like, come on, man. Like, they printed a ton of these, and it's just, uh, hey, whatever. <laughs> but it's a good one to have. If you don't have the... Uh, the original that's definitely a good one to have um i want to talk about werewolf by night as you can see i got um marvel spotlight number two first appearance of werewolf by night great book to have if you can i showed this one a few times over the years um and there is the new obviously the new werewolf by night that came out um i think it was oh geez i can't remember when that i think it was 2019 when this came either 2019 or early 2020 i can't remember i didn't look it up but it's been out for a little while um, it was it was announced, I believe, well, several months ago, or late last year, that um, or sometime last year, anyways, that uh, Jake Gomez, the guy, um, the character from this new Werewolf by Night, will be in the Werewolf by Night um, 2022 Halloween special. Um, but whether or not we're going to get multiple Werewolf by Nights or what, or we're just going to get the one, I don't know. It'd be interesting if they had multiple, because... You know, if you read the history of Werewolf by Night, it's, you know, they get infected and everything else. So, but, um, 
The reason I got, uh, well, anyways, I'll talk about these. Yeah, I might as well talk about them now. <laughs> so, uh, a, a Strange Academy has been a great series for a long time. Uh, number one, as you know, is is a great book to have. Number, I mean, they're all good ones to have. You know, we had so many characters show up in this series. And what's what I like about when they launch these new series, kind of like start when they launch this High Republic, and there's just new characters all the time. And issue number two, talking about Werewolf by Night, is um, your first cameo appearance of Howie. He's a he's a young werewolf. And talking about that Halloween special, it's going to be interesting because most of the characters in here are children of you know famous characters. You know, you got Doyle, who's Dormammu's son, and you got the the um, uh, Hellstrom boys, all that kind of like. Anyways, there's a ton of characters in here, but Howie, I don't we don't know who he's related to if anybody so i'm really interested to see who he is because if by chance he's related to um jake gomez or jack russell the original werewolf by night that would be that would be really interesting because it kind of makes sense that he was because there's not a lot of werewolf characters in the marvel universe so anyways you get a cameo in number two uh, that book's kind of pretty pricey but this number 16 i mean he and here's the thing he makes a cameo in multiple books. Like he's in this one, you're going to see an image on the screen. It's just one panel. He's just kind of walking through the lunchroom. And that happens in, in probably about four, I want to say four books before number 16. So in number two, he has a cameo. Five, he has um, a cameo as well. He's in, I think, two panels in that one. Number 10, he has a cameo. 11, he's in one panel. He's talking in that, but it's just his head and, and one panel. So you never get a full appearance in any of these books up until 16. 16, you get a, a full appearance. He's on four or five panels. He's talking. He's intermingling with the other kids and, and, talk, and all that stuff. So technically, 16 is his first full appearance. And it's a really good. If you haven't got 16 mana, I reckon if, if you probably most of you have these Strange Academy books. But if you don't and you can't get the early ones, pick up 16 because... Um, I really think that Howie's going to be going somewhere because if you look at the solicitation for number 18, you see regular cover uh, and something's going to happen on there. And it's interesting that there's only two covers for that. And the character variant for that one, which you're going to see on the screen now, is Howie. Obviously, he's a werewolf. So it's, it's kind of like they've been building up all the way through. Like they start out with just these brief little cameos and you get more cameos and then you get full appearance. And now 18, I think is good. And I've got it on my pull is half for, I, I got it back on again. I took it off for a little while. Damn it. I missed like two issues. I found them in the back issue bins though. So no problem. But luckily they weren't major ones. Um, but anyways, my point is all this is try to pick up. If you don't have 16, man, get it. Cause that's a uh, first full appearance of Howie. And I think, with everything kind of going werewolf by night, um, you know, the Midnight Suns and all that kind of stuff has a ton of potential. And he's probably going to be linked up somewhere with one of these werewolves. So obviously <laughs> that's a good one to get. That's all I can uh, all I can say about that. That is a really good one to get. So this week we got some books I'm looking at. Uh, believe it or not, I'm going to recommend some uh, DC books. And not only that, a Tom King book. So <laughs> Batman... Killing Time number two, you should be getting your first full appearance of the help in this one. He had a cameo in issue number one. There's only two panels in that. It's funny, I went, uh, I was talking to somebody, I can't remember who the heck it was. Damn it, I get so many people message me on Instagram. But anyways, I had somebody message me and say, hey, you know, was, is that his first cameo in, in number one? He was, And I went through the book and I missed it totally. He's in a doorway. But anyways, there's two panels. Cameo number one. Number two, you should get a first full appearance of the help because in issue number three, he's on the cover. You'll see an issue or uh, image of the cover number three there, or issue number three. So um, Tom King, when he um, he is a good writer, the problem is if they let him loose on on a you know um, a title that just runs forever like Batman, he just gets lost in his stupid Catwoman stories and love stories and everything else. But when he focuses in on a six parter or a ten parter or whatever, he's actually really good and the stories move along pretty well. So this Billy uh, Batman Killing Time number two is one I would recommend. That uh, that one looks pretty good. Uh, Batman 122, it is part two of Shadow Wars, or Shadow War. Uh, in Shadow War Alpha, we got a cameo of uh, Angel Breaker. So are we going to get a full appearance of her in Batman 122? I don't know, but it's worth uh, picking up Batman 122. And it's funny because the new, it, it seems like the uh, writers tend to drop stuff right near the end, either right at the beginning or when they're when they're finishing off with a series. 
because one tw with issue 125, Chip Zdarsky's taken over. So whatever's going to happen, can happen in these next few issues. Whether or not Chip Zdarsky carries on with that character, I don't know. And that's the problem. A lot of times, if a one writer creates a character, <clears throat> other writers aren't so keen on using them unless they're a major character. But anyway, because they like to bring in their own stuff and get credit for their stuff. It's contracts and everything else. But anyways, Batman 122 looks like a good one to get. I'm just getting cover A. Eh? Uh, Batman Beyond Neo, Neo Year One, uh, six-parter. Uh, looks like we have first appearance of Sword, and it mentions in the solicitation that there's a bunch of new villains going to be showing up, so worth picking these up. That is it from DC, and it's funny that they're all Batman titles. <laughs> is there anything from DC that you're buying that isn't Batman? I don't know. It's not, not for me. Uh, for Marvel, we got um, Amazing Spider-Man 238, the fix, facsimile, just talking about uh, Hulk. That's kind of what look made me... Uh, look at some of these facsimiles and I'm like wow that's crazy but uh yeah 238 that's a cover I've got uh, a 9.6 graded copy of that with the tattoos I showed that before in my videos uh it's a great cover it's been swiped a thousand times it's just one of those iconic covers so if you haven't got the original uh it's worth picking that up because that's a nice one um and again you're getting it for 3.99 so you can't really go wrong or if, I don't actually I don't know what the price is going to be on those but Anyways, uh, Spectator, or Spe Spectator, Spectacular Spider-Man number one, another facsimile out this week. You got two facsimiles that are worth picking up. I got, again, I got that one just in the original. Uh, that one's just raw, but uh, it's it's a good book. Um, again, pick that up. Moon Knight number 10. This Moon Knight series has been pretty good, and, and again, the, the TV show is out. And it seems to be picking up some steam, so worth picking up that one. Uh, Spider Punk number one. Uh, he's got his solo series out now. Um, he appeared in Edge of Spider Verse quite a while ago. I showed that book in the past. I got that one too, but it is his first solo series, so worth getting that. And one that um, I haven't been buying a lot of X Men titles, but X Men Red number one is out this week. There's a ton of covers. I know there's a Marauders too, but I'm not interested in that one. Um, the reason I'm getting X Men Red is uh, Al Ewing's writing this. Uh, they're on Mars and. Al Ewing is a good writer, and he tends to uh, introduce new characters and stuff in his stuff as well, so that's one I'm going to pick up and read, because I like Al Ewing's writing. So my three my three picks this week, again, it's kind of a lighter week, but there are some good ones. Batman Killing Time, number two, it looks like you're going to get your first full appearance of The Help. Definitely get that one. Uh, Batman 122, likely you're going to get full appearance angel breaker but i don't know on the fence with that one whether or not we're going to get it or not they may delay it till a further issue but worth getting that one uh and x-men red number one uh like i say al ewing's writing that so you can't really uh go too wrong with his stuff because it usually is pretty good so uh again folks try to look for these um strange academy number 16 they should be sitting on the shelf this is one that uh you know 13 14 15 with your gas lamp they were hot and then people stop because not a lot of people say, ah, oh, nothing really happened in these. But yeah, you got your first full appearance of Howie, who's a werewolf. And what's wait till Werewolf by Night hits the TV screen and the movies and everything else? Then everybody's going to start going bonkers, especially if this character is related to one of the either Jake Gomez or uh, or Jack Russell. So. We'll see what happens with it. But anyways, there you go, folks. You got another book to go hunt for in the back issue bins. Um, I'm calling my comic shop. I've got a couple of copies, obviously, but I'm calling my comic shop before I put this video uploaded to <laughs> YouTube. So if you're going to my comic shop, Heroes for Sale, you uh, there may not be any for you. So <laughs> anyways, take care, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye for now. I forgot to mention too, folks, uh, I just had to come and shoot a couple more seconds of video here, which I'll add on at the end. Um, this Strange Academy 18, which is coming out, that is the uh, last book in the first semester. So there's 18 books in the first run. Then there's going to be a hiatus for a few months, and then they're going to be relaunching, um, I guess, it'd be, well, it's not really volume two, just kind of a continuation. I don't know who the writers and artists are going to be. It'd be nice if the uh, writer and the artist stay the same. Scotty Young takes out, keeps going with the writing, but um, we'll have to have to see what happens with that. But uh, anyways, it, so this 18 is technically kind of the last book in this first semester. They're going to call it second semester, obviously, uh, in either summer or early fall. So pay attention when that comes out, uh, but 18 is one you definitely want to get. So anyways, there you go. Now it's, uh, that's all I'm going to say. So <laughs> talk to you later week. Bye for now.